So, hello fellow coin collectors and banknote collectors too. My name is Glenn, in case you don't know me. And today we're just going to have a look at this 2004 50 cent coin. So here I have the obverse side, which actually has Queen Elizabeth II. And this is the effigy that was used between 1999 and it's going to be replaced in 2019. So let's have a look at the other side. So on this side, it actually has three animals. It has the koala, the wombat, and a parrot. But I'm not too sure what type of parrot it is. Could be a corella or a lorikeet. But with the patterns, I'm not. I haven't actually been able to find it. So we have a koala in a tree. Koalas eat eucalyptus leaves. Wombats live on the ground and eat grasses. So that's a grazer, this is a browser. These two animals are actually closely related. They are marsupials. They have a pouch and they have a baby called a joey, which actually comes out when it's very young and it crawls into the pouch. So it crawls into the pouch. And in there, they generally have two teats in which uh, the baby attaches to one and it actually grows for a few months. The pouch on the koala faces this way faces towards the head. On the wombat, it faces towards the bum. That is because a wombat uh, actually digs burrows, so it digs holes, so it digs dirt, and it shifts dirt backwards. And if the pouch was facing forwards, it'd actually get dirt in it. So, as an evolutionary thing, it actually evolved the pouch to face backwards. And these two are actually uh, pretty closely related, probably about 20 million years separates them. Uh, there is a, uh, two fossils, Nemo koala and Litho koala, which actually bridge the gap, and they're sort of in between koala and possum-like. Uh, there was a, a larger koala, uh, a larger type wombat called a diproprodon, if you want to look it up. That, that was actually a large animal, and it's actually a lot of fossils uh, relating to the ancestry of wombats, but not really to koalas. So koala fossils are actually quite rare. And this coin was actually designed by a student named John Serrano, so it has a JS there. And he actually run, won a competition um, by students to design a 50 cent coin. And there is another 2005 50 cent coin that actually was also designed by a student, but I'll get to that later. What is the mintage of this coin? Well, there was uh, 10,200,000 coins minted for circulation. It actually it has a book value of about $15 in uncirculated. And it's actually in the mid range of or the lower mid-range of mintages. I'll say the average is probably about 20 million coins, so 10 million is actually a bit low. The lowest is like 2 million for commemorative coins. It's really, it'd actually be a bit hard to get in circulation because of the low, lower mintage. Uh, when I search through coin bags, I actually don't come across this coin very often. The 2015, 60 years, the end of World War II is actually more common than this. So if I actually find any of these coins, I actually keep them. Because, eh, you can sell them for about 2 or $3 in this state on eBay. Which is not bad, better than 50 cents anyway. So, if you'd like to check out my eBay store, I'm not too sure if I actually have this coin on it. Mm, no, too many items on it. So... Yeah, just check it out and, and sit, tell me. Mm, that's awesome. So, I'd like to thank you very much for watching and have an awesome coin collecting time, people. Oh, please give this video a thumbs up if you like Australian coins. Have a good one. Bye bye.